Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and today I'm at the Clinton River. Right behind me is a really popular location known as Yates Dam, otherwise known as Yates Cider Mill. Before I start fishing, I'm gonna go back to my truck and show you guys what I'll be using today. All right, the first lure I'm gonna show you guys is one of my favorites from last year. Now, with just a little crankbait, it's got an orange belly, a black eye, it's white on the bottom, and it's got black all the way across the top. Now this is kind of just an off-brand generic crankbait that I bought at Dick's. Instead of a square bill, it's kind of like a square, but it's kind of rounded off. Right here is the box I take to the Clinton River. As you can see, there's lots of square bill cranks. This kind of color scheme is really good. It's made by Attack Fishing Customs, but uh, it's a square crankbait, 2.5 inch. Right here are some blue fox spinners. I got a bunch of different sizes, size threes, size two, size fours, but right here, the size two works the best, the rainbow trout colored. Today for casting my lures, I'll be using a medium action rod with about 10 pound braid. And I'm also gonna be bottom fishing as well. So I'm just using my normal bottom rig. I got a weight and I got three hooks. I'm gonna glop up with worms. Right now guys, I'm at River Bends Park. It's a really good area on the Clinton. It's actually a pretty long stretch. But anyways, I'm in a perfect area right now to cast pretty much any kind of style setup I want to fish. As you can see right here, there's a really good seam that just cuts across, goes all the way across right there. There's also a waterfall right over there. You can see it coming down water. So it pushes water, puts a lot of oxygen into the water, makes the fish go crazy. So here's the view right here. Like I said, the water falls right there, kind of spews in. And then there's the seam right there that goes all the way across. Now I'm actually gonna walk my phone a little bit in the water here. Show you guys the rest of the water. So it's pretty shallow right here. You can actually walk, it's only about ankle deep. But then it drops off about right here to about maybe four foot or so. And then right there you can see a nice stagnant area of water. It's kind of recirculating back. A lot of fish love to hang out over there. And there's another stagnant area right over there. And there's just tons of current. As you guys can tell, this is a really good area to fish. The fish just love it, it's like a big playground for them. So when you're out on the water, you kind of want to look for areas just like this, places where fish would love to be at. Right here, guys, was a really good spot for me last year. This is a really good bridge. It's actually 40 miles away from Lake St. Clair. You can actually see it right there with that sign. I'm gonna show you a skip from last year from the spot right here. Today, we're gonna go after some brown trout. So all I'm using is just this nice little crankbait, nice and simple. Let's see if we can get a couple. That's a beauty. Check this out, guys. Man. Whoa. Check that out. Second cast. Gonna get all the grass out of the way so you guys can see this. Oh. Anyways, it had both hooks inside its mouth. Look at that over there, guys. There's two deer, one deer. Oh God, there's actually like 10 deer. Look at all their faces. Didn't even see them there, but there was 10. Thought there was two. Hi guys. Apparently they don't like the Fisher Brad.
Just got one sucker right by the bridge here. Just sat down, maybe like five minutes later, finally got a bite. Got me a second sucker. Same type, one of those lawn nose ones. Stop. Oh geez, it's getting all excited. Yeah, that hook ain't coming out. There we go. All right, guys, sadly this video, I do apologize for the quality of the video of the one catch in the beginning. However, I actually had a lot of film. My GoPro SD card just got corrupted. I had three hours of film on it. I actually met some really awesome people too on the riverbank. I actually took some photos with some guys that actually knew me and watched my channel. I really appreciate you guys. I just sadly cannot put it in because my SD card got corrupted. I'm very sick. I could have made this video at least 10 to 15 minutes. As you guys can tell, I love fishing all over Michigan. I have actually been traveling a lot lately on multiple fishing trips all the way across the state. I am trying to get as many different rivers on film as possible. So if you guys see a river that you'd love to fish and you haven't seen me do any film on, I would love to go out fishing with you and get on some monsters. With that being said, all you gotta do is feel free to message me. You can message me on Facebook at Brad Dyer, on my Instagram at the underscore Fisher underscore Brad, or just message me on YouTube. Other than that, I am gonna to try to do some other local rivers around me. I actually looked on the map and I found four different rivers that are really close to me. So hopefully I can get some awesome fishing action there. Some really good locations is River Bends Park and Dodge Park. The reason why they're so good is because they're pretty much dug out. So there's actually a lot of deep pockets where fish can stay all year round in. It makes it really good. Plus it's so close to Lake St. Clair. About 40 miles is about the spot where I showed the catch at. And about, I think it was like 36 maybe miles or so where the dam is. That bridge where I was catching the suckers at was right by the dam. But it was just a little bit downstream right by the road where the street light is. One of the parks I ended up visiting was the old park I went to last year which was River Bends Park. It's a really good park. There's actually a long stretch of river. It goes miles and miles and miles. That makes it really easy too for knowing where you're going to fish and how to target the fish. You can always go slow right in the deep pockets like in that one video I showed. It's a lot deeper on the side I was casting to than where I was standing. My one buddy fishes the Clinton River a lot just because he lives there. I'm the exact opposite. I live about an hour to an hour 20 minutes away from the spots I was fishing at today. So with that being said I only got to go out there one time this year or two times. It was a lot of fun still. I still caught fish so I was kind of glad on that but I really did have to work for him. Sadly like I said GoPro footage not being there really sucked. I had to make this whole video based off what my phone picked up. But anyways, I hope you guys get the gist of it. It's pretty easy to catch fish there with crankbaits, also with worms. Actually, a lot of people when they go there, they go fishing for suckers there with worms and they end up catching steelheads. That video of the brown trout catch was also my very first video I ever made for YouTube. So it was kind of cool going back to see how far I actually came in one year. I typically go there maybe two or three times a year. I really don't go there very much unless I'm in the area. If you really like this video, I'd really appreciate you giving a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. No, I can't say hi. Bye, dear.